Well, hey, how you doing? It's uh, Simeon here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Well, the wait is finally over. If you've been uh, interested in wanting to watch the uh, new documentary, A Flash of Beauty, Part 2, A Paranormal Bigfoot, uh, it's now available. It's been released, and um, I'm not an impartial uh, reviewer here I'm actually part of the film and um, I think the creators of the film did a great job if you'll remember uh, they came out with the first movie a flash of beauty Bigfoot revealed uh, about two years ago and in that film uh, Mike Jill and Brett presented evidence that uh, Bigfoot is real they showed us witnesses, people who had mapped where the sightings occur, and just lots of different individuals who, you know, were just ordinary people that had had these encounters. Uh, and in the filming of that uh, documentary, there were a lot of references and evidence of what's called, you know, paranormal encounters. This has to do with Bigfoot's ability to cloak you know, appear as other things or even even other animals. Uh, invisibility, people who had said they had seen Bigfoot become invisible before their eyes. Um, and uh, different aspects of the encounters that go beyond sort of ordinary physical encounters if Bigfoot was just a uh, ordinary flesh and blood uh, creature, especially with orbs, balls of light, and something that I've covered, um, you know, in my book, Dark Matter Monsters, where, you know, the witnesses I talked to, many of them in Colorado, had said they had seen the Sasquatch emerge from balls of light or had gone out looking for Sasquatch and had only seen orbs and so forth. Well, the sequel... Uh, a Flash of Beauty, Paranormal Bigfoot, covers all of these types of anomalous, I guess from our point of view, anomalous and strange sorts of uh, aspects to Bigfoot encounters. And that's what's featured uh, in this sequel. Um, the crew uh, interviewed me extensively on my ideas based on uh, my understanding of condensed matter physics, coherent matter, um, aspects of cold fusion, low energy nuclear reaction, um, to see if we could fit some of those characteristics of those types of processes where ordinary matter condenses, coheres, and, uh, you know, creates different sorts of properties than we're used to in ordinary states of matter. Now, as you'll know, if you've been following my channel for many years, I encountered a lot of these effects, believe it or not, you know, around crop circles. And um, yes, and I wrote about it in Opening Minds. And these were orbs, camera failure, battery failure, space-time distortion, so-called time slips, um, UFOs, just a variety of phenomena that we saw happening around crop circles and even to some extent, yes, in some of the experimental circles we made, uh, we got some of these strange electromagnetic anomalies um, in some of these formations, many of them w of which had high static charge readings from our instruments. And then, as you'll know, if you followed my work here for a while, even the crop circle human makers, when I talked to them, said they had similar effects. They small, saw small orbs, UFOs. Uh, things that are hard to explain around their circles when they were making them or even just going into the fields. You know, one story I uh, related here in Opening Minds is where a group of circle makers uh, had told me uh, they were chased out of a field just going in there with the intention of making a crop circle by orbs that sort of showed up at different corners of the field that they first thought were 
car headlights, but kind of they proceeded right over the top of the crop. And then, uh, you know, not long ago, I released this video uh, that I took of an orb appearing uh, by a field in West Overton, uh, UK and Wiltshire. Any case, the big surprise to me and the reason I, you know, created the book Dark Matter Monsters is because a lot of people who have Bigfoot sightings report the same sorts of phenomena, which sort of indicates to me, it actually definitely indicates we're dealing with some other states of matter that we are not very familiar with that's either been suppressed or just science has ignored, which covers a full gamut of phenomena uh, that you know we call paranormal but as i argue in the movie uh is actually a type of science that we don't understand very well a type of you know extended electromagnetism um, and other types of ways that electrical and magnetic fields interact beyond the ordinary sort of maxwellian uh, interpretations which basically forms the basis of modern science and I argue in Dark Matter Monsters and you know to the credit of these filmmakers in this documentary that that type of electromagnetic uh, those ideas are just too limited there's other types of electromagnetic uh, interactions fractal types of electromagnetic fields which condense in on themselves create very strong uh, electromagnetic fields condensed in tiny spaces and um, very similar symptoms to what we see around these bigfoot interactions ufo interactions in my particular case and people who've been with me crop circle uh, areas and fields where we've seen a lot of really hard to explain phenomena uh, that really suggest that the very fabric of space-time is being modified folded in on itself um, and again the fact that we can connect all these phenomena to me if you've been following my channel for a while I, mean, I think this is really interesting anyway i'm not going to give any spoilers away but i highly recommend that you watch this new Bigfoot documentary. I think if you like my channel, you are really going to like this movie. Um, it's available as of the recording of this uh, video right now, towards the end of 2023. It's available on Vimeo in its full form, but I'm told it will be available by the end of this year, 2023, on Amazon and Apple and Tubi and other uh, video platforms which you can choose your favorite one where you want to watch it so again um, I think this is really a well done film some of the witness encounters uh, really uh, knocked my socks off watching these really astounding types of observations in some cases multiple witnesses that were definitely not dealing with an escaped gorilla nor just a simple a wood ape or even just a relic primate of some sort that this is some sort of human or ancient human that uh, you know somewhere a part of our timeline were related to these creatures and uh, they've developed these extraordinary abilities which you'll see ample evidence of in the film just go ahead i'll put the links below where you can watch it right now just feel free to watch the trailer it, it shows a lot of interesting information right there and if you're interested in seeing an interview i did with jill brett and mike you can see the link right here and anyway i'll talk to you again soon feel free to put your comments below thanks for watching we'll see you in the next video take care for now and bye